All right, so I just want to go through the uh, rudder rake system and the official um, that we've developed here for the foiling viper. Um, we've been testing and fiddling around with this now for about four months, and um, this has now got to the level where um, we believe this can go into production at the moment. So, if we just have a look over here on the side and follow me around. Um, <clears throat> these are the standard gudgeons that uh, come with uh, the foiling viper. These whole centers are exactly the same as your standard pintles would be. So if you convert back to a normal displacement mode, you can put both your normal pintles straight on here and put standard rudders on the boat. So you've got a competitive F-16. Um, but getting back to the, uh, the foiling setup, so what we've got here is, is these standard ones which initially were done just with bolting. So these were bolted straight on and then you would have to find a setting that worked for you um, both upwind and downwind. Um, and now with the advent of this we can actually adjust this for downwind to give you more grip to prevent the death wobbles going downwind. And then we can rake it back going upwind to give you more support on the rudders um, to make it foil and point a lot higher. Um, the system is fairly basic, um, we've got a spring system over there that works with the um, force of the water and we've got acetyl bearings top and bottom and we've got a pulley that's been machined into the acetyl bearings and these bearings just clip straight onto the standard uh, gudgeons that come with uh, the good old foiling viper. Um, let's have a look at the control systems over here. the controls are housed inside the beam. Um, at the moment we are on maximum rate so I'll just unpleach over here and I'll go, go to center so you can see there. So that's full support at the back. That's minimum support over there. Um, I'll center it for now. And there you can see the rudders are moving evenly together. Um, Everything is housed inside the beam over here. We've got a 6 to 1 block on the global control. And then we've also got the differential control, which is this one over here. So you come through a tack and go out on, on the trapeze and you can grab that and just give that a pull. And there you can see the differential of the rudder. So that rudder is now down. That one is up. So you've got maximum support on your leeward side and you've got writing moment on your windward side then to if you need to reset your differential you just grab this global line that's under tension over here and give that a yank and they reset themselves back to neutral um, adjustment is fairly simple the crew most of the time is doing the adjustment of the foils the crew downwind is standing around about here so we've placed the cleat where the crew would be so the crew will be able to pick that up and drop that forward and recleat it. We've been moving this cleat around and we finally found this is actually a perfect spot for it and easy to get to, easy to cleat, and easy to trip when you're coming around the top mark as well. Um, so yeah, uh, I think that this really completes the package for the boat. Um, the boat foils really well upwind now and is beautiful and manageable downwind. Um, and doesn't death wobble. So uh, that's what it's all about. Thanks for watching.